What's going on, y'all? It's your boy LSU Rock254. You tune in for another one. Bring y'all back. Box Chevy updates. Well, I mean, for the most part, up front, it looks the same. I just got to the back and got busy. As I was showing y'all in the last video, I'm saying different layers or whatnot. Uh, what I kind of realized, man, is that <clears throat> I don't need to go down to bare metal. And I kind of fucked up. <clears throat> and this, and in my, I don't know, in my, in my perceived view, and I could be wrong, uh, is that the, like this, like this stripe in here, right? So perfect example is this striping. So this striping goes down to the silver, which the silver is, you know, whatever. The silver is right up under the blue, but you see all these other layers of paint that were just, I mean, they was, they were solid for the most part. I mean, it's like I said, there's some spots that had like some deeper issues. Um, but because we've already kind of dove so deep on the trunk, like we're gonna have to go ahead and commit. <clears throat> we're gonna have to commit. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that 10 pack of a uh, 10 pack of joints when I get paid or the strip disc. And we're gonna commit on the trunk and get it all the way down. Uh, of course, you know, up here we had some issue in with the little stuff, but down to the middle, down to the metal. But I mean, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, some spots, honestly, had I not jumped the gun and just went to the metal everywhere, then some of this could have been resolved. Unless you just want to strip your shit all the way down, that's one, I mean, that's, that's perfectly fine too, but this shit looking like a fucking Picasso because <laughs> all the different, I guess, colors and layers and shit that was on here over time. Um, so, like I said, on the trunk, I'm gonna pretty much have to commit to the to the metal uh, cuz if not <clears throat> then what I'm going to have is this in uneven unevenness or waviness I feel I don't know y'all let me know all my paint people y'all let me know do I have to commit or do I can some high build primer get me out of this jam um I mean, I'm cool with committing on just going down to the metal like this and then building it back up. <clears throat> epoxy primer, uh, which I ordered. I ordered some epoxy primer. I should have that uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna order me some more dish tomorrow. Give me a 10 pack for about 40 bucks. That way I can finish this. Um, this trunk and then get it all the way down to the metal and then epoxy primer and then bring it back up <laughs> but yeah <clears throat> like i said the because i mean the the issues that were concerning was like this this right here like a lot of there was a lot of this these stripings over here and i really honestly thought that it was like down to the metal but it wasn't because it's the silver that's up under there. And like I said, as you can see back here, <laughs> there's a lot more, more, there's a lot of protection on this car and didn't even know it. So, uh, let me do a little bit more priming. or well, not priming. Let me do some more sanding, strip disking uh, that I can and then I can get to work. I just been. Uh, on the side, I've just kind of been 80 gridding it, except for the spots where I went ahead and jumped down the fucking bare metal there, which it's like once once you do that, like I really don't know. 
I, I don't know if you have to etch primary and then high build it and you good. I definitely wouldn't advise doing like Bondo or no shit for no shit like this. <clears throat> but I mean, I feel like if you want to do it right, then you really got to go ahead and finish committing to going down the metal on said panel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but see like this right here, perfect example. Like even though it looks, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's, it's bad. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. See, but we just have to go down to, we would just need to get it down to right where it is. And although that's thick and it looks like it would be bare metal, it wouldn't be bare metal. <clears throat> but that was my assessment when I first looked at it. But I'm a rookie. I didn't know no better. I think I'm right in my thought process, but let me know. Um, all my paint guys, let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. You know what I'm saying? So if you go to bare metal, is there any coming back? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's not because I got, as I run my hand across this, like it's just so many, like built up paint here, built up paint there all the way up to the high point. So I feel like I'm gonna have to take all this shit down. But going forward, any spots that are like this, we might just wanna 80 grid it, smooth it all out, and then go from there. So let me get back to this and I'll cut y'all back on when I, I guess I run out of disc. All right, tapping back in. I just finished fucking off the last disc. Well, not the last one. I got one more. I got one more left after this one. <sighs> See, this is the reason why I feel like you don't want to go to fucking bare metal. See this right here? Let me blow it off for you. Let me blow it off for you so you can kind of tell the difference. If you know, you know. Let me see if I can get a magnet right quick so I can demonstrate. So, metal. Uh, I mean, it'll stick, but as you can see, the connection right there is much stronger than it is right here as far as having the slide down or whatever. Straight metal. It's a bondo. Anyway, the point is, it's a fucking bondo bodywork. It's a fucking dip. It's a fucking dip right there. I'm trying to see how, how can I show you that it's a dip. Uh, high spot, low spot shit. So you can see how it's like gathering down there. Anyway, this, that's another reason why in the back of my mind, I was dreading going down to the metal, but I was like, fuck it, YOLO. But yeah. So now, basically what that means or what I think that means is that after we finish getting the rest of this down the metal, that we epoxy primer it, and then on top of that, we're gonna have to do our body work. Fuck. I should've just left them niggas alone, bro. Should've just left them niggas alone. And I mean, that's a nice, 
that's a good size fucking dip. Like it. I was trying to see. I was trying to see if I could show you just off of the like the brick or whatever. Yeah, see there you can there you can kind of see it. So it's like a nice. So yeah. So this is like the block on something that's relatively straight, right? But when you get over here, like it's a hole. It's a whole hole up in that bitch. Like you can fit a penny up in that motherfucker. I'm saying. <laughs> oh. It is what it is, man. Shit, we we fucking balls deep in this bitch. <laughs> continues down to the middle I'm not doing that shit to the rest of the car bro fucking 80 grit fucking smooth 240 180 320 prime and then yeah I'm not finna get into all that shit <laughs> I did not sign up for this shit alright so <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap the video up um one disc left one disc left like i said i won't be taking the rest of the car down the middle because you're just running the shit that you don't want to find um but i should be able to finish this off um uh, smooth everything out <clears throat> and then going forward we know better that we just need some 80 grit which we got by the bank load. 80 grit, smooth everything out, primer. Um, but we do, we are gonna have to go seam sealer on this fucking trunk. So we'll get like a gallon of that or some shit. So we'll see. We will see. So until next time, it's your boy LSR254. Remember, I identify your weaknesses and make it your strength. Fuck it's all about choice to choose wisely and proactivity or procrastination. And remember, hustle don't stop, grind don't stop. Go on.